Hello everyone. So as you know, everyone is scrambling right now for hand sanitizer or alcohol for the coronavirus and making sure that their hands are clean. But is it better to use hand sanitizer or soap and water? I'll break it down for you. So for starters, let's talk about the coronavirus particle itself. So the coronavirus particle on the outer layer of it actually has molecules on it that are made out of fats and protein. And as such, it makes it difficult for the coronavirus to be just washed away with just water. Imagine that you had oil on your hand and you were just rinsing your hand with just water without any soap. You know the oil will never go away. And that's what happens with viruses. The fat and protein molecules sort of stick to your hand. They're very sticky little <laughs> particles and they stick to it and so you need to get it off. So which is better? Should we be using soap and water or should we be using hand sanitizer or alcohol? So remember we talked about the coronavirus having protein and fat molecules all around the outer part of its shell, if you must, if you may say so. Now, alcohol is a good, good product or hand sanitizer because what it does is it denatures the fat and peels it open so that, you know, the virus is no longer virulent and does not, does not have its infectious properties anymore. Now, the reason why hand sanitizers work is because they're made out of alcohol, but you need to make sure that the alcohol content is at least 60%. Okay, you need to have at least 60% of alcohol in your hand sanitizer. As such, your vodka, your rum, your tequila will not work. And that's because a lot of them are 80, 80 proof, and that means they only have about 40% of alcohol in it. And you need to have at least 60%. If 60% is the least, some may guess that, okay, if I have 90%, it may work better. Well, I have to tell you, because it has a higher alcohol content at 90% or at 80%, what may happen is it may evaporate too quickly and so not have enough time to settle and really denature the virus. So that is why, you know, it doesn't, if you have 90, that's fine, but if you have 60, 70, 80, those will work just as well. Also, you want to make sure that you have gel, again, because of the same idea that you know it will evaporate too soon a gel will stay and hang around a little bit more and really denature the virus so when should you use a hand sanitizer or alcohol if you have no access to soap and water then by all means definitely use a hand sanitizer or alcohol it will denature the outer shell of the virus and break it down making sure that it's not virulent anymore the particles may still remain on your hands but at least it will not be viral or sorry virulent any longer well how about soap and water well soap and water like we all know it's sort of like a detergent okay and soap is made up of two things it is half fat and half a basic or alkaline molecule and what that does is the fat part of it attaches to the fat layer of the virus and so breaks it down and you know it's able to attach just like you know if you mix oil and water you're not able it's not going to mix properly but once you put detergent it acts like a bridge so the fat part of it attaches just so the fat part of the viral molecule which is you know the outer shell of it and the alkaline or the base part of it attaches to the water because that is more hydrophilic meaning it likes water and the fat is more hydrophobic meaning it likes fat it doesn't like water so it's kind of like a bridge so it definitely breaks it up breaks up the virus another thing is now after you've broken it down then the water helps to kind of flush the viral particles away so now we've built a bridge bet between the soap and the virus and then the, we've broken down the outer shell of the virus and all those particles are going to get washed away by the water ergo soap and water is a better choice if you have an option it doesn't matter what sort of soap all these antibacterial so any soap as long as it is soap has that characteristic and will definitely work. However, you do want to make sure that you wash for at least 20 seconds. A test was carried out where this uh, they applied this lotion on their hands and they washed for several different seconds and they saw that at least 20 seconds is what is needed 
for you to be able to get those viral particles out of there. So even though you do denature them, which is a good thing, you want to at least be thorough in your washing. So 20 seconds, you can sing a chorus of your favorite song. They, you know, the, the, the standard is happy birthday twice, you know, but you can sing whatever you want to sing, you know, trap music, gospel music, you know, whatever, country music, as long as you're doing it for at least 20 seconds, that will work. So guys, all in all, if you do not have access to soap and water, alcohol or hand sanitizer will work at least 60%, but the absolute best is soap and water for 20 seconds. So stay safe guys. It's a weekend or it's, if it's a weekday by the time you're watching this, stay safe, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands, and don't forget to moisturize afterwards so you can prevent dermatitis. I'll see you later.